Today's video, we're gonna be talking about brakes. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a great day today. And today's video, oh, is gonna be about brakes. So I gotta be honest, the brakes on this bike are very underwhelming. If I had to identify a weak point right off the bat, I would say it's the brakes. Everybody talks about, oh, the new bigger 20 mil, 220 millimeter rotor works so much better. I'm sure that it does work better than a 200 millimeter rotor would, but that doesn't change the fact that these are mountain bike brakes on a bike that weighs five times more than a mountain bike. So before I throw hundreds of dollars at a brand new set of brakes, I figured why not try out the Shimano pads. People have said a lot of good things about them. You read about them everywhere on the forums and the posts. So let's try that option before we go ahead and spend hundreds of dollars on a brand new brake system. The stock brakes, they just don't feel good. The, the back, not so much as the front, but the front, you, when I squeeze the front brake, I hear it, it's like gritty. It sounds terrible. <laughs> And you also feel the feedback of the rotor in the lever. It, it's just, it's not ideal. It's, it doesn't feel good at all. It doesn't feel quality. So I'm hoping that these pads will change that. I'm hoping to get a lot better lever feel as well as more stopping power. So the way that we're going to test it today, I'm going to be doing just kind of my own feedback and letting you guys know what I think and how it feels. And I'm also going to do a stop test where we go up to 20 miles an hour and I'm going to lock up the brakes with the stock pads and we're going to see how long it takes me to stop. I'm going to come back and do the same exact test with the Shimano pads and see if we get any more stopping power out of them. Let's go. All right, so this is gonna be the start line right here. I'm gonna get it up to 20 miles an hour, lock the brakes up right here, and see how far it takes for me to stop. All right, see the line. Let's get up to 20. There's 20 right there. All right there. All right, from the line to here, 20 miles an hour. This is gonna be the stock pads. All right, now let's head back, swap out these pads for the new Shimano's, come back and do the same test and see what results we get. All right, so this is my first time doing a brake change, so we're gonna learn together, but it's really simple. It only takes a couple of minutes. You only need three tools. What you're gonna need is a three millimeter Allen key, a five millimeter Allen key, and also just a set of some little needle nose pliers. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, oh, don't drop your five millimeter Allen. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, take your five millimeter Allen key and just go ahead and crack loose the caliper bolts. You don't have to take them all the way out just yet. Just go ahead and crack them loose. All right, next what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your needle nose pliers. There is a clip on the back side of this bolt right here that's holding your pads in. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and remove that clip. Just get some pliers on it and pull upwards. Like so. It's small, so be careful with it. Don't lose it. Put that somewhere safe. All right, so the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take out this bolt right here that's holding the brake pads in. Uh, I said it was a three, which it, it fits, but it feels a little bit loose, so it may be a 3.5. I don't have a 3.5 Allen, and I had to use heat to get this out, so be very careful with this one. Use heat if you have to. It came out really easy after I heated it up with the, with the torch for just a couple seconds, but before that, I almost stripped it out, so be very careful taking this one out. Use heat if you want to, if you have it available to you, and just, just to be on the safe side. Like so. Grab that, put that somewhere safe, don't lose it. Don't, don't drop your torch. And then uh, these should just lift right out of here from what I'm seeing. Oh, I pulled the clip out. Now you can just get something in the hole of the pad and you can kind of just pry it up. Like so, and just pull it out. There's the right side. Let's go ahead and pull the left side out. Oh, there's the other side. So just for a comparison, this is what the stock pads look like. And these these look gunked up. All right, so then go ahead and grab your pads. They're marked uh, right and left on either side. And get your spring. 
and just line it up with that hole it kind of wraps around the um, material part of the pad like so kind of lines up and then you just take your other pad and sandwich it in there like so and that's how you're going to drop it back down into the caliper just with a spring in between there like that all in one unit all right once you got your pads and your new spring you're just going to kind of sandwich them together like that and try to squish them down in on either side of the rotor until the hole lines up with the bolt hole. Once you've got your pads pushed down in there around the caliper, go ahead and line up the hole right here for the bolt that we took out earlier. And then you're just gonna go ahead and put that back in. Tighten it down. Again, be cautious with this one and don't over tighten it or, or get too aggressive with it because it is a small bowl and it is aluminum and it will strip out very easily. So be very careful with this one. Use heat if you have to. I can't stress that enough. Once you've got that bolt back in nice and tight, go ahead and put your clip back on that we removed. It goes just right into the groove on the back side of the bolt there. It's a little bit harder to get to now with these heating or uh, cooling fins on the pads. But um, just look for the groove on the back side of that uh, pad bolt and just go ahead and clip your uh, safety clip back in there. All right, so lastly, you're just gonna take your five millimeter Allen that we loosen these up with on the caliper and just go ahead and tighten those back down. But before you go to tighten them, you're gonna to wanna to hold the rear brake lever down and hold it as you're tightening these. What that's gonna do is center your brake caliper. That way it's perfectly centered in between the rotor and it'll keep down excess noise as well as uneven wear. Alright, once you've got those nice and snug, go ahead and let go of the lever, pump it a couple times, test them out, see how they feel, and you should be good to go. Repeat the process for the front brakes, it's exactly the same, just on the front wheel, same calipers, same hardware, same everything, just repeat the process on the front, and you'll be good to go. Alright guys, we are back with the new Shimano pads on. And I gotta tell you already, right off the bat, the feedback into the lever from the front brakes, a hundred times better. All right, let's run the same test. Get it up to 20, lock the brakes up. Here we go. There's 20. Whoa. All right, there's the start line. There's the stock line. I gotta do that again, that's almost double. That's, that's crazy. All right, here we go. There's 20. All right, still better, a little worse than last time, but still definitely stopping quicker than the stock. All right, so first initial impression on the feel, um, wow, the more I ride this, they're even grabbing even better now, but the feel, the feedback that comes into the front brake lever is gone. It feels smooth, it feels normal, it feels the way that a brake should feel. None of that gritty, grindy, brrrr, noise, feeling, none of that. It's gone. These feel pretty darn good and they're not even bedded in yet, so once they are bedded in, I think they're going to feel even better. So, for for $80 versus hundreds of dollars, I think this is a great upgrade for the brakes. If you don't want to break the bank, but you want better stopping power and better brake feel like the modulation of the brake lever now i can i can feel so much more the other ones were just like on or off like this like you actually get a good decent feel when you squeeze the lever like i mean imagine for like stoppies and stuff oh wow that's a game changer right there like wow that's so much better like i actually feel like i have control over the brake pressure now rather than just like an on off switch that's that's a lot better so yeah guys if you only want to spend about 80 bucks and upgrade your brakes instead of hundreds i say these do pretty damn good as always guys i appreciate you more than you know thank you for watching if you guys like this video or learned anything about brakes from it, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and drop it a like. It's completely free. And while you're there, if you want to stay up to date with future videos, go ahead and subscribe because I got a bunch more coming. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great day.
Peace.